Hi, my name is Shahin Nal. I'm a graduate student at Caltech. In this video, I will talk about logarithmic regret bound in partially observable linear dynamical systems. This is joint work with Kamir Azizad initially and my advisors Anim Anand Kumar and Baba Kassiri. Okay, let's get it started. As we all know, reinforcement learning is the study of sequential decision making under uncertainty, and in most cases, the underlying system or the environment is unknown. The goal is to minimize the cumulative cost while interacting with the system, and the main trade-off is between how much we need to explore the system and how much we should exploit our past experiences. In this setting, at each time step, the agent obtains an observation about the system state. It takes an action based on a policy and pays a cost that corresponds to the system state and action chosen, while the system evolves to a new state, state prime. Linear quadratic regulator, or LQR, is the canonical example to the setting in control theory and reinforcement learning. The dynamics are linear, therefore the next state is a linear function of the previous state and the input, and added an additional Gaussian noise. The cost of each state action pair is quadratic. This is one of the simplest examples to the Markov decision processes since the state of the system is fully observed. If the model is known, in other words, A, B, Q, and R matrices are known, the infinite horizon optimal control problem is given as follows. Linear quadratic Gaussian, or LQG, which is the topic of study of this paper, is the more challenging setting than LQR, and it also subsumes LQR. Instead of the state, a noisy measurement of linear function of the state is observed, which is denoted as Y. Therefore, this setting is an example of partially observable Markov decision processes. The cost in the setting depends quadratically on the measurement and the inputs. The noise in the system is due to process noise and dynamics evolution, denoted as WT, and the measurement noise in the output, which is denoted as ZT. The optimal control problem for a known model is given as follows, similar to LQR. Let pi star denote the optimal policy for a given LQG. Adaptive control studies the problem of controlling an unknown system. Due to lack of knowledge of the model, an agent needs to learn the system dynamics and design a controller based on the information gathered so far. This lack of model knowledge causes the agent to take suboptimal actions compared to the optimal policy pi star. Therefore, the performance of an agent is measured by a notion called the regret, which is the difference between the cost that adaptive control policy acquires and the cost of the optimal controller. This problem has two major steps learning the system dynamics and designing the controller. So far, in learning the system dynamics and relate minimization of adaptive control in LQG, open loop data collection is considered. This involves injecting independent Gaussian excitations to the system in order to gather data for estimating the system dynamics. The general idea was to commit to a model estimate after enough samples and design a controller based on this estimate. This is an explore and then commit strategy. The estimation process uses state-space representation and writes each output as a function of system noise and input. Prior works estimate Markov parameters of the system denoted as G, which is uniquely identifiable for all linear dynamical systems, and maps inputs to the outputs. These shown works deploy the system identification method in order to provide regret guarantees. Mani et al. combines this model estimate with certainty equivalence controller and provides square root t regret for strongly convexed cost functions. In other words, when the cost matrices Q and R are positive definite. Similarly, Simkovic et al. uses online learning after committing to a model estimate obtained by a given least squares problem and achieves square root t regret for strongly convex general cost functions. Lale et al. combines this estimation method with optimism in the face of uncertainty principle to achieve t to two thirds regret in more general setting of convex quadratic cost function. However, this estimation method has a caveat. When a controller designs inputs based on the previous observations, in other words, when the data is collected with a closed-up controller, the inputs become correlated with past noise sequences. Thus, this estimation method does not give reliable estimates of the underlying system, since condition on the data, the noise process won't be zero mean anymore. Therefore, all the prior works use the data gathered using open loop controller to estimate the system dynamics, commit to a controller using this estimate, and does not update the model estimate while controlling the system. This brings up two fundamental questions. First, can we estimate the model parameters in closed loop setting with finite time guarantees? And the second, can we utilize such an estimation method and improve regret in partially observable linear dynamical systems? In our paper, 
we give an affirmative answer to both of these questions. We introduced the first closed loop system identification method with finite time guarantees to recover the system dynamics. Using this method with online learning, we provide a reinforcement learning algorithm, ADAPTON, that achieves polylog theory get in adaptive control of partially observable linear dynamical systems, which has general strongly convex cost functions. Also, I would like to mention that a follow-up work deploys our closed loop system identification method with optimism in the face of uncertainty principle to provide the first square theory regret upper bound of adaptive control of LQG with convex quadratic cost function. Our identification algorithm exploits the reparameterization of LQG, which goes back to comma. The state space form of LQG can be written in another representation called predictive form. At steady state, except denotes the state estimate obtained by Kalman filter. A bar is the difference between A and F times C, where F denotes the optimal Kalman filter gain. A bar is now the state evolution matrix. The output Y can again be written as noisy version of new state variable X at. At steady state, the noise ET on Y is an IID Gaussian disturbance with a fixed covariance matrix. Notice that sigma in the covariance matrix comes from a solution of Riccati equation as shown. This representation allows something that the previous state space representation does not. We can write every output as a linear function of history of control input U's and output Y's with an additive IID Gaussian disturbance ET. In order to exploit this property, for a given trajectory, we construct phi's, which are HE input, HE length, input, and output pairs. Using phi's, every output can be written as follows. Here, calligraphic GY is a combination of output to output and input to output Markov parameters. And similar to Markov parameters of the state space representation, they are uniquely identifiable. Therefore, for estimating the system parameters, we solve the following regularized least squares problem. As seen in the equation, the output generation is a linear equation with IID Gaussian noise ET. With this reparameterization, covariates are not correlated with noise in the output. Furthermore, the observability of the underlying system guarantees that A bar is stable. So for large enough HE, the last term provides a negligible bias. Therefore, by solving the proposed least squares problem, we get a reliable estimate of GY. Given an estimate GY hat, we then estimate the model parameters ABC using a novel algorithm called SysID. You can find the details of the algorithm in the paper on archive. SysID is a variant of well-known whole common algorithm, and it briefly constructs two Henkel matrices from the blocks of estimate GY hat, and uses singular value decomposition to come up with A hat, B hat, and C hat. We have the following guarantee for the proposed model estimation method. The estimation error decays with one over square t rate. Notice that this system identification algorithm does not depend on how the data is collected and can handle both open loop and closed loop data collection, which makes it possible to update the system parameter estimates while controlling the system. Now that we have the mod method to learn the system dynamics, we will focus on the adaptive control algorithm for LQG. In this work, we propose a reinforcement learning algorithm called ADAPTON. ADAPTON starts with a short warm-up period using Gaussian excitations to get a sense of the underlying system. It then starts adaptive control of LQG in epochs with doubling length. In the beginning of each epoch, ADAPTON uses all the data obtained so far, both open and closed loop, and estimate the model parameters using the novel estimation algorithm described. It then calculates the control input. For the details of control input generation, please refer to the paper on our graph. It then executes the control input and observes the output and the cost function. Using these, Adapton updates the control policy using projected online gradient descent. During each epoch, Adapton repeats these steps sequentially. At the end of each epoch, Adapton returns back to estimate the model dynamics again, further exploiting the newly gathered data thanks to the proposed closed loop system identification method. In short, ADAPTON is a combination of model updates in epochs and online learning. The system parameter estimates are updated adaptively, and in between these updates, the controllers continues to improve using gradient descent. For a stable, controllable, and observable LQG with strongly convex cost function, ADAPTON achieves pole logarithmic regret. This is the first logarithmic regret result in adaptive control of partially observable linear dynamical systems. 
Note that adopt-on is polynomial time. Moreover, due to doubling length of each epoch, adopt-on updates the system parameter estimates for log t times. If there exists a computation budget limitation such that adopt-on requires to update model parameters less than log t, then the regret of adopt-on is between pole log t and square root t. This recovers the prior result in literature, which achieves square root t by updating only after the warm-up period. For more details, please refer to our paper on archive or visit our portal session at ICML 2020 workshop on theoretical foundations of reinforcement learning. Thank you for listening.